Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP desktop. The model of this is M01-1114. This is a brand new computer. I just got it from the store. And I'd like to make a video to show you what is inside the computer and what are the things that you can upgrade, meaning like the RAM, the M.2 solid state drive, uh, maybe the what else can you upgrade? Uh, maybe the CPU, uh, things like that. Uh, hopefully, this video would make you to decide whether this is a good buy for yourself or maybe it's not a good buy for you. Now, if you're going to have a problem later on down the road and you like to upgrade the RAM or maybe upgrade the hard drive, this video would kind of walk you through on how to do that. And that's the purpose of me showing a teardown in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of talk about the description of this product here. This is the AMD Raisin. Uh, it has the eight gigabytes of RAM under DDR4. So this computer here runs on a 256 gigabyte M.2 solid state drive. And this does not have the graphics card. This AMD Radeon is actually the built-in from the CPU. And on this one, it comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you can have Ethernet plugged in or Wi-Fi. Okay, so let me kind of show you around how the computer looks like. All right, in the front here, it doesn't have the, uh, it has the slot for the CD-ROM, but it doesn't have the CD-ROM in it. Okay, they kind of cut it down and make it as an optional. This is your power button. There's one headphone jack. So if you're gonna plug in your headphone, you can use this jack. There are th four USB 3.0 ports in the front and also the SD card reader that reads you know, your, your SD card for your camera and things like that for your drone or the camera. All right, let me flip it around. This is the back of it. And it actually show you the model number and the serial number. If you're gonna file for a warranty claim, you need to flip the computer upside down and read off this serial number here. All right, so let me take a look here in the back and I'll show it to you what do they comes with. This is for your speaker, okay? So you plug it in, you have a speaker. This is the VGA for your monitor or HDMI. This is the exhaust fan. You have two USB 3.0 and two regular USB 2.0. This is the uh, Ethernet port where you can plug in for the internet. And if you go further down, and this is the power supply. And obviously there's no graphics card here installed. So if you want to add a graphics card, and I'll explain to you how to do that in this video. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the side panel. And here I have the torque, and this is what number this is. This is a T15. And let's go ahead and remove the, uh, the screws. There's only one screw in the back. And once the screw is loosened up, it doesn't come out. You just unscrew it and get it loosened. Go ahead and slide it to your left. So slide the, uh, the side cover to your left. And go ahead and remove it. All right, so this is how it looks like. It's very straightforward. Now, we need to remove this black bracket. Looks like this bracket here is, is holding onto the bay. Let's go ahead and remove this. So once I remove it, I can explain to you things a lot more, much better. So once you remove the screw, go ahead and lift it up. And once you lift it up, you can actually slide it away from you just like that okay it's very straightforward uh, it has these three little uh, I'm not sure what you call this this three little uh, latch I call it latch for now so you kind of latch it underneath here at the bottom very bottom here I'm sorry about the angle on the camera I can't show you the full thing so I got to show you a little bit but yeah so slide it in and then you kind of close it and clip it down okay you need to push it a little bit 
to uh, to get it out. All right, once you remove that, and this is the extra bay, I believe this allowed you to add on additional um, storage capacity. So this computer here, like I said, it comes with a 256 uh, M.2 drive. So this is the one, the slot here. Let's go ahead and remove that. So this is a Phillips screw. Once you remove that one, one screw, you can slide the M.2 to your right. That's how you remove it. Now, um, I make a separate video. If you feel like the M.2 is too small, 256 is actually not enough if you ask me. At least start with 512 or maybe one terabyte. All right, so what you want to do is you want to get one of these adapter. This is what we call the M.2 adapter. You can slide it in and that's how you can plug it into any computer to extract your information. Now, if you're planning to save your information, meaning that if you're trying to transfer everything over from your original hard drive, which I believe that you have all the windows, um, the Microsoft Office, your picture, your document, everything is already in your computer here and you want to upgrade. Let's just say you want to upgrade to a larger uh, larger drive. Let's say you want to upgrade to like a 512 M.2. This is exact same model here, but this is a different brand. Let's just say this is a bigger drive. You want to exchange it to, 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 to I mean on this computer here to use it here. I, I make a separate video. I'll, I'll link it in the description. I, I don't think this video is enough time to explain everything. Uh, I'll have it in the, in the description below. Go ahead and click on the link and I'll explain to you how to clone the original hard drive over to the new uh, one terabyte or 512 whatever you want to buy and you can clone everything over cloning means you transfer everything including your windows your uh, your program like office zoom skype TurboTax, even your data like your pictures documents everything would get transferred over to this new new drive and then once it's got transfer you just go ahead and install this and you're all good to go. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Here, I'd like to explain to you, go ahead and open up the bracket here, remove some of the, uh, the cables, and let's go ahead and remove this. So I think to remove this, you actually need to remove the front panel first. So the front panel has three clipper. Go ahead and open up the clipper. So once you have three clipper open, this front panel will just slide right out to your right. Okay, once you have that thing removed, let's see, you need to remove this screw right here. Alright, if you're curious to know what is all this, this is actually the Wi-Fi antenna. So there's one here and there's one at the bottom here. Okay, so this is your actually a Wi-Fi antenna. It runs all along here and go back into the computer. So once you remove that screw, this actually what we call is the hard drive bay. This bay or the tray allows you to install a secondary drive. Instead of adding M.2 drive, if you want to have a C drive and a D drive, you can actually do that now. This tray here allows you to add on the regular hard drive which is 3.5 inch as big as this okay but it doesn't come with the screw on it so actually you need to install like this way because the screw goes in here i'm not sure what that is this is a brand new and i see some some kind of booger right here but maybe it's just a glue okay so you need to flip the hard drive upside down and go ahead and install the screw now it doesn't come with the screw i don't see any additional screw comes with here you might have to go ahead and dig out your garage and see if there's any screw, you know, drop somewhere on the floor or whatnot. So go ahead and, and do that if you want to buy a, a secondary drive. Now for those of you who doesn't want the regular hard drive, what you can do is you can buy the solid state drive. This is 2.5 inch. It works the same. So what you want to do is you want to install here at the bottom like this and flip it over. Let me see if I can find the, 
that hole right there. So those are the hole. You see that A, A, A. So those are the four screws hole or three screws hole. You can screw it in. They already pre-drill the holes and you can mount the SSD drive, the 2.5 inch. Now once you install either the regular ones or the solid state drive, this cable right here is actually pre install it for you it looks like you can actually add two of them look there's one here there's one this this cable right here allows you to run two uh power and this here is the two SATA cable can i add two of them that's a good if you're going to ask me that question can i add both maybe you can let's see So if I add this regular ones, go on top right here, do I have room for the second one? So this one goes here. Yep, you might be able to add the secondary one. Let me see. Yeah, I think you can add the secondary. So go ahead and install it like this. One goes on the top here. Okay, that connects to the regular hard drive and then the other one connects at the bottom right here back to the solid state drive. So one cable goes into the solid state drive and the other one goes on top to the regular hard drive. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. I don't have to uh, show it to you on how to do that. Um, but yeah, that's how you're gonna get it going and then let's move on to the next one now here is your ddr4 ram this is 8 gigs to remove the 8 gigs you just got to press and push the two little side clipper push it on both sides and the ram will just pop straight up and this is 8 gigs pc4 stands for ddr4 and this is 3200 uh, megahertz on the ram you can add 8 and 8, so that would be 16 total. Or you can do 16 and 16, let's go up to 32. Now this is your Wi-Fi, and this is your CMOS battery. If you want to reset the BIOS, go ahead and remove the CMOS battery by, you know, flipping the clipper right here. And that way to reset the computer, maybe wait for about 5 to 10 minutes to reset the CMOS battery, uh, the motherboard. This is your exhaust fan. There's only one fan right here to blow, uh, to exhaust to take out all the hot air. And this is the CPU. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Now, if you're gonna ask me if this computer can add a graphics card, the answer is yes. You can add additional graphics card. This is the slot for your graphics card here. Now, if you look at the power supply, this power supply does not come with the six pin or eight pin connector right this is a low voltage power supply this is so low that it doesn't even have a regular power supply it just has the little four pin connector right here and there's a four pin connector right there that, that's a bar rate so this is actually a very not a powerful power supply now you can't actually add you can't add the uh, graphics card uh, with like for gaming what you can do is you can add this type of graphics card this is what i call a low profile graphics card this graphics card here does not require any six pin or eight pin power to run it it actually draw the power from the motherboard now to remove or no to add the graphics card you actually need to open up the clipper here and you need to break this you need to break this uh, bracket. This bracket here is ready for you to break it. It's very simple. You just kind of get your um, your screwdriver. Go ahead and yank it. Just push it left and right. It already pre-cut. Once you put pressure enough, the the metal right here is just gonna come right off. Okay. Once the thing is off, let's go ahead and install the graphics card, just like that, and push it back in. Uh, push it in into the PCIe slot Okay, once you are in you can go ahead and close it back and this thing would hold the graphics card Now 
why you want to add a graphics card i think if you're going to do that it's just going to offload some of the power from the cpu right now the cpu runs the display in the back of the motherboard right here so if you want to offload some of the power to free up some um, some stress on a cpu then you can add that graphics card i just show you okay and if you want to do two monitor screen for example uh you know if you want to do a dvi to hdmi or hdmi to vga whichever you want to have two monitors you can use a graphics card to do that instead of stressing off the cpu now this this computer here is capable of vga and hdmi this computer allows you to do two graphics or uh, two monitor at the same time uh, the question is why you want to stress the cpu at the same time you're using the cpu to operate the windows so uh, best is to add a graphics card on it all right i think that's pretty pretty much it i, I explained some of the pro and cons about this computer here um, you can see this is pretty straightforward this is not meant to be uh, gaming uh, it's not meant to be uh, um, for for your heavy duty work like auto autocad or photoshop uh, nothing like that okay so if you're going to use um, any design stuff uh, this is not the computer for you to buy i'm going to tell you that straight up okay so don't try to go cheap and buy uh and you know buy a 400 500 dollars desktop like this and then end up not able to perform your job okay if you want to buy something better uh, you know to game or maybe to do like graphic design I recommend you to budget some some something like maybe a thousand dollars to begin with okay um, something like that would actually help you to get your job done uh, better uh, efficiently and faster you wouldn't get frustrated now for those of you who doesn't use the computer a lot all right so if you're gonna just use it for like your email um, check your email maybe browse your social media watch the youtube especially watching this youtube my video here <laughs> if you're if you're gonna get the computer and watch my youtube like this um, i really appreciate that and I, if i can ask you a small favor just smash the like button and uh, subscribe thanks well then it's fine right so this one does not require a lot of power uh, if you're just going to email and whatnot then yeah this one will get the job done uh, do like a zoom meeting or maybe you know uh, do some spreadsheet some word documents simple stuff this computer is perfect all right so um that's pretty much it i just put everything back together as you can see it's pretty easy to do that uh, most of the time i just explain to you the pro and cons what can you do and whatnot uh, in this video here so i hope you enjoy the video um, if you if, if you really uh, thing that this video helps you to decide what you want to buy um, or decide what uh, to help you to add or upgrade your computer i really appreciate if you can just give a like okay uh, thank you for watching and i appreciate that take care until next time